Good morning everybody, Denise here at Junk Journal Junkie UK and welcome back to my desk. Um, if you watched me on Saturday you will know that I've been having a sort it out Saturday again and I got a few bits done but I didn't get through an awful lot. So I carried on a little bit while the camera was off uploading and I did manage to put into this um, little ephemera holder that I made quick and cheerful ephemera holder that everything drops out when I tip it up. Um, I did manage to pick all the bits up that were lodged in various places in at the bottom of some boxes and things like that and put them all in here. And I do know that um, Tanya from Tatty Treasures who I um, follow along with belong to her face uh, yeah, Facebook group, Tan uh, Tatty Treasure and Friends, is doing clusters at the moment. I've only watched one of the videos so far. One and a half, actually. Um, so I'm thinking they're all going to come in and make some clusters and use all the bits up. So as long as I don't tip them up, they're going to be quite safe in there. But what I do need to get through is, and I'm sure you, those of you that are with me regularly will know that this is my scrap box. So it's filling up a little bit, not so much with digitals because I haven't used many digitals this last week, but just all sorts of things from clearing up my desk and a few bits of Edith Holden and other bits and pieces. Um, so it is filling up, it was quite empty at one point. However, the lid of it is also full of various things. So that's not good because the lid should be on. If I put it all into one, the lid is not going to close. So. Not really sure where this video is going, but the one thing I do want to achieve is to sort out this. Um, get it cleaned out, maybe get some stuff um, used and made up, but we'll see where we go. Like I say, I haven't got a clear plan other than to square up a little bit. I've also got this box of stuff to sort out. And you saw this one last time, still lots in it to sort out. And then my box of ephemera, probably a bit close to you there. Do you remember if I said to you, I said to you I moved it into a smallish box because when it's full that's time for me to sort it out. Well I think we can safely say it's full and I've got ephemera kicking around the desk okay so we need to use some of that up as well so I'll probably be doing that two or three times this week. Okay so I've emptied well the lid actually um, of that box so we can start and sort it out a little bit. Okay, so some of these things will have been in it last time. So it's my aim to put in this box, in this lid, all the um, actual proper scraps, the things that I'm going to use for collaging and things like that. And straight away I found a ticket, so perhaps I need this open again. So little things like that can go in, ready for my clusters. Okay, so that is a, a base. So perhaps we need a pile of bases Oh, I don't know how to... Pile of bases, scrap, and then we'll see where we go from there. Yep, so another envelope. Three envelopes that can be made into something. What have I got in here? This is my thing, you see, making bags. Oh, I've got a hair comb. Nice. Okay, piece of scrap. Not a big one, but... <laughs> so, yeah, that looks like it just needs a piece of... Um, journaling card or paper or something in there to write on and it's it's a finished piece so I've now got a pile to finish a pile of bases and a scrap pile let's hope we don't need any more piece of vellum but it's scrap right these little tiny pieces of card can go on the clusters so I'm going to put them into this little I'm going to have an awful lot of clusters, I think. I wonder if that's any good for you there. Okay, don't know if you can see in that box or not, but I'll just take a few off the top at a time. So that's a scrap, that's underneath. Uh, that's a label, that could be a cluster. A couple of cupcakes, a tea cup. And a fussy cut. So they're in big embellishments. I'm going to have to have another pile for those. Um, 
a Monopoly games card type thing, quality street, so that will make a good cluster actually. A great big butterfly, so large embellishments. That's a lady out of a, a little women book, a picture, but I really don't like it, so get rid of pile. Okay, so that just needs backing and something through it. And it'll make a tag, so that's in the finished pile. That is a piece of card. Don't know what I'm going to put that. A large embellishment. Right. This is scrap. I was just playing with it and it didn't fit and it was it was not right at all. And I just keep putting it in the scrap box folded over. So maybe if I tear it in half, it'll be obvious to me when I'm digging in there for scraps. That it is actually a scrap and to be used. Okay, so there's another piece of card there. I think I'm going to put those in that. I've got a box there with lots of pages and things to be made into a journal so they can go in that. So that is a plastic bag that can go in the bin. Yay! Oh, I think we came across these yesterday, bases. Um, so yeah, they're bases, aren't they? The envelopes, okay, bases. And yeah, we'll call that a base. Base. Oh yes, this was... Those were the bits that I was using in um, Tanya's uh, Tatty Treasures July. Junket July, that was it. Tatty Treasure and Friends Facebook. So using up pieces of junk, so you might see that again. So that's from Chubby Dabby Doo and that can go on the clusters maybe. Another envelope. It's a big envelope, that one. It needs to go somewhere else. So yeah, these were more of the junk bases junk, junk, junk. Okay, so junk and bases can go into one pile together. Do you think I'm achieving anything or just shuffling it about? That's very thick. I think that might make a, oh, it's too thick for a cluster. That's a get rid of it pile. Clock. Okay, a piece of wallpaper. If I fold it the other way, I'll be able to see what it is in the scrap box. Yeah, that could go in the scrap box. And doily, but it's a very cr creased up kind of doily. It can stay in the scrap box. That's scrap. Oh, it's nice that we're actually getting to scrap. Okay, scrap. Base. Oh, flower fairy. Embellishment. Um, what are you? I suppose you're a big embellishment. No, you need finishing. That just wants stitching round and wants finishing, doesn't it? So it looks like I've got lots of journal cards in here that are not quite finished. Ticket. I think these are from Shabby Dabby Doodah's Lavender Valley, I might be wrong. Yep, they can be large embellishments. Something that needs finishing, something that needs finishing. So these really all need to be on the sewing machine that needs stitching around. So I will just be able to lean over and do that. Yep, okay, so I've got a sewing session ahead of me. Um, I think that's scrap, 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 a base, a napkin which lives somewhere entirely different altogether. Well, these are scrap for now, but scrap. Well, that is a piece of scrap, but I'm going to put it in the pages. Another envelope. Oh, brand new clean envelope, so pages. Scrap. Um, yeah, put them in the scrap. I think we might have got to the scraps now, which is good. Scrap. Scrap. Base. <laughs> Embellishments. Oh, flower fairy page. 
scrap. So it seems I've got scrap card as well as. Wow, that's a big window. That's a base. Yeah, I've got scrap card as well as um, scrap paper in my box. Oh, that's a tag, so that's junk. That's a scrap flower fairy book. Hooray. Oh, I'll get rid of that. It's not something I'll ever use. Um, I might take those out for the embellishments. They might be rip upable. There's a good word for you this morning. I always come up with one. Yeah, more of this real. I suppose these would make good bases for embellishments, so they might get used. So I'm going to have a go today. Yeah, embellishment. That's a postcard, so it's a base. Base. Actually, they're postcards that I would never use, but I can collage on them, can't I? Same with that. Embellishment. More junk wallpaper, embellishment base, junk, embellishment base, okay. Uh, junk paper, another brand new envelope, junk, junk. Um, I suppose that's a base. Hmm. Three pages of bits I've put together for some reason. Oh, I was wondering where these were. So these are like little mushroom embellishment kind of clusters like from Artie Mays that she's made up and photographed and made into a digital. So I'll put those with my embellishments. That has been hanging around for a long time. Base. Ooh. Bag I'll put with the pages. Scrap paper, scrap card. Ah, that's junk. So that is really. <laughs> you can see what attracted me to that. I'm a collector of junk. Yeah, that's definitely a base. Scrap card, scrap. So you can see what that's been used for. My printer decided to print me a page when I had some thin card stock in. So when I had to print another one, I just turned it around, be used for something. Base. All right, so these are really old um, Christmas, I remember. I'm gonna put those back in the scraps. Um, what do you call masterboard? So some book pages that are scraps. Piece of tracing paper that's a scrap. That's out the front of a book, but it can be used for backing. And that can be a base because it's a bit a bit bright. And I'm going to put that in the bin. Yeah. My bin has two little things in the bottom of it. Yes. So you can see how this paper's got like black gone track marks or something like that from my printer. And every time I put it through the printer to try to make it print on the back, because obviously I could put those off, it just keeps shooting through. It obviously doesn't like the marks that it's put on it. Ah, right. So we've come to some Edith Holden bits here now. Paper clip doesn't belong in there. Brown paper scrap and scraps. Scrap. It's sticky. Right, I'm going to hang on to these Edith Holden bits and put them with the other. Because I've got quite a few like this where I cut off the tops of the pages. And I might use them for something soon. That's Edith Holden Kingfisher look, how beautiful. Oh yeah, it obviously all just got dumped in here because that's a piece of... Um, weaved woven paper that I tried, tried weaving paper with some of the scraps. I'll put it down as a base because I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Scrap, 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 more scrap doily. So these are like brown bits of card from, 
front of books or little things I've been doing. <laughs> That's the middle of a playing card. Scrap. It looks like I've got to mostly the scraps now, which is good. But even the scraps have got things that can be done with them but that's a whole new <laughs> that's a whole new day go with scraps if I keep pulling things out right that is a piece of Edith Holden that can go in the bin it's been kicking around forever yeah so that's these are book pages used for backing but I'll leave them in there because I might be using them soon right let me just put these in the Edith Holden bag is quite tidy. I am making headway in places. Okay, so I hope you're not fed up already of just watching me say scrap. So that's a book page that needs finishing. Book page. Postcards, so they can be bases. I don't know what they're doing in there, but they need backing and cutting out. Um, what am I going to do with those? I think I'll leave them in the scrap. That's how they ended up in there. Scrap. Let's throw that piece away. And there's a cloth that I've used for glue. They can go in the bin. Scrap. They can be used for embellishments, base, embellishment. All right, that's the bag of stuff that was kicking around my desk last. Must have been two weeks ago that I collected together, do you remember? You know what happened to it now? It got put in here. Right, looks like I've got down. Rather than going through every single piece now to the actual scraps I have. So in theory the lid should now go on until we come to that another day to use them up. Brilliant. Yay! Well pleased with that. Although it has now left me with all this. Okay so I'll close that so it doesn't all fall out and get lost. So they're embellishments those are embellishments and those are embellishments just got this pile now so these were all things that needed doing so we'll choose some of them to do now I think um, that was obviously a pocket in the making I don't know why I didn't in fact it looks finished to be honest it just needs embellishing we'll put that in the to be embellished ephemera. Okay, postcards. Yep, we could back those. Um, that needs making up. So there's a pile that I don't know what I'm doing with yet of bases. Just pull a few out to work with, cover those. Yep, and they're all bases. Okay, so pulled a few things out that we can maybe get squared up more of these bases will be used um, when I finish the Junkit July challenge with Tanya. So, oh space, I'm starting to see space. So just before I work on those let's pull these out and then everything's contained. Oh okay right when I've sorted through this pile we'll get some crafting done and I'll have a clear desk. Okay, so that's a pocket and it's done. So it can go in with the ephemera. That's a pocket. Uh, it's, it's a pocket and a tag, a tag pocket. So that's just a little tag. They just need embellishing, so I'll put them on the to-do pile. These are kit tags that just need cutting out. We can do that today and get them put away. Um, bases. A pocket that's done and can go away. 
So these are tags that need something doing to them. So we'll put that in the to-do to -do pile. That's the base. Tag that's done, tag that's done. Corner pocket done. Belly band done, I'm going to sneeze. See if I can stop it. <coughs> oh, <coughs> I do beg your pardon. <coughs> oh, so sorry about that. Excuse me. Just get a wipe now. So if I'm touching things that are going to other people, they'll be all nice and clean. Hands didn't feel dirty, but you know, germs. Uh, tissue paper. I'm going to put that with bases because we might do with something with that soon. More tags. I'm just wondering if you could even see anything that I've just been doing. Um, I think we'll put that with the embellishments. What did I do with them over there? Bases, bases, bases. So I've got some like little tiny bases there. Oh, that's junk for and so is that for Tanya's Tatty Treasure Junk of July. That is a, I don't know, something I've started making. We'll have a look at it in a minute. So those two envelopes need finishing off. So another belly band that's done. Long tag that needs sewing. Uh, yeah, sewing in the sewing pile. Mm tags that are finished. Oh. Is this a pocket that we did? I don't know, I have a feeling we did that yesterday on camera, I might be wrong. Another pocket and another little tag. Okay, so that's all finished ephemera. It was a finished ephemera pile by the looks of it, so I'll squeeze it in here for now until we sort that box out. Okay, so let's get some crafting done, shall we? That was the whole point. And now have space to craft. Um, I'll just do a couple and then I'll have a look at the video and make sure you've been able to see because I don't want to go on if it was a waste of time. Let's do these two postcards. <clears throat> so they're out of a book, um, a stamp book. I think I've got it here actually. But yeah, I think it's quite a well-known stamp book. So it tells you all about stamps and what they're worth and when they were issued and all that kind of thing. And I've just been using it for creating some interesting pages in some of my journals. I've got quite a few pages pulled out ready to go as well. So these were in that. Um, I don't particularly like what's on them. So we'll collage on them. So we'll need some scraps. So let's just pull some bits out, make some space in here as well. That'd be nice, won't it? We'll use a bit of that maybe, shall we? That's been kicking around for a while. Yeah. So if I just pull a few pieces out that I'd like to use up, and then uh, I'm not delving in it all the time. Don't fall on the floor. Excuse me while I just get my glue stick. Oh, oh. That's not it. And again, that's it. Okay, and something to glue on. All do nicely. Right. Let's just turn some bits up and stick them down. pinkish let's get some of this going on so this is a shabby dabby doo da um, digital I've no idea what kit from I can't remember I have got an awful lot of um, Tina's kits I'm just wondering actually if it might have been one of the freebies that she's 
just got three or four freebie kits on a website really really big that's a bit a bit of an overstatement but quite large kits you know she's given away for free she's very generous as a lot of the digital designers are to be fair okay so let's glue them and put them on we'll glue both together oh, is there anything more delightful than a new glue stick or is that just me being a little sad <laughs> okay where was i going with it so it looks like um tickets here's another cloth now i've used that one yeah looks like lots of little tickets all yeah the table's in good form today with its squeak put one on here as well so it was a misprint i know you saw there was something on the back of this but um, what printed on the back was huge and not not any use for anything i could uh, think of i tried hence the folding but um no it wasn't really I've got a piece of keep sticking to me well dictionary page I'm going to do fairly big pieces of collage on here so that they're not overly fussy probably go with five if I can that will be quite enough Keep moving it down out of your way, don't I? Oh well, we'll do our best. And if you can't see it, you'll just see them turn up in my <laughs> femra pile in the next video. Because I won't show you this one. I like that piece. I thought I'd used all that up, so that was a nice find. find it again in my digital files and reprint it because I only printed it once and I really loved using that I believe it's an Artie Mays collage page I just loved the colours on it um, hem, hem. Yep, we've also got sort of ready blue let's use some of this let me use one of the perhaps two of the straight edges on it so this is Janie B Digital. It's a beautiful quiet morning here in Lincolnshire in the UK. It's not too early, so it's not that everybody's in bed. Okay, just a couple of bits to fill in there now. I'll put a piece of this on here while let's go for a really big piece. Oops. Try not to cover up the piece that I love too much. even a bit of ink in it I think that glue page is getting a bit much I've got one here I've half used so let's finish that one off quiet this morning now I've got everything out this is the fun bit for me although I must admit sometimes I do like just going through my things but not when it's just scraps <laughs> this is the fun bit using them okay. so do little pieces just have 
some plain pink on here, I think. Yeah. Keep pulling that down out of view. I've just heard somebody bang a door, so I'm not all alone in the world. There are people around. There's nobody in my house with me. My hubby's at work. edge on because it had um, it's got quite a lot of colour going down it. I don't mind that bit of orange showing around the edge there but I'm going to cover this piece in. Um, with what though? Piece of coffee dyed. Don't want it too uniform there do we? Got a few straight edges going on. Right, I might have nibbled it a bit too small, let's see. I usually do. Yes, I have. Never mind, we've got more, we'll have another go. Is that bigger? Yes, that's better. Okay, so there's one done and I think I will leave the back whoops obviously it needs trimming round when it's dry yeah I'll leave the back and probably just um, ink it up a little bit okay so what do we need here two little bits on here am I going to be able to use that little piece no but I am going to throw it in the bin before I get into the realms of the ridiculous. Okay. Right, don't do it too small, Denise. I'm just trying to see as much of that um, Artemis paper as I can. I'll give this one an ink as well. So this is me in my happy place, glue stick, bits of paper, bits of paper stuck to me. <laughs> nice, quiet, peaceful, just no pressure, not trying to create anything in particular, just sticking. Right really got that there haven't we so I wonder if I dare just throw that piece away go on throw it away I am getting reckless so of everything I've got out nothing really I want on there so yeah, I'm just going to have a dip oh maybe I should just where's this find something out of here to put on that little there must be something that just needs what's that look it's the tiniest of tags you've ever seen see things are dropping out of this tiniest piece of tag and I think if I just cut the end off don't look like a tag now just give it a bit of ink cut that end off as well make it look less uniform yeah jobs a good one so there's a piece gone out of there as well as those few bits out for me scrap box okay so that's two pieces done okay I just um, stopped the camera then just to, I wanted to go back and double check that actually what I was um, doing was visible so that wasn't wasting any more of anybody's time that stuck up a bit there look and as I always do when I stop the camera I had a quick cuppa um, and it is mostly in video so I think I'll go ahead and um, upload it I just wanted to finish these pieces to finish the video off so um, while I was off camera I also just backed these because I didn't think that was that interesting for you to say they were already made and cut out 
they just needed um, backing if you remember so they're all backed they just need inking and then they can go in the done pile and I backed this I haven't cut it round yet or anything but again you didn't need to see me just stick a piece of um, paper on so that will be cut out and inked round and they'll be in the ink pile and I had a couple of these um, postcards if you remember with the horrible things on them and I, I, just while I was waiting for my film to get back where it should be I used the rest of this paper just to do one more so I've got three of these and I thought you probably can't see that there don't do it again I thought what we do to finish them off is just put um, one of the big birds that I discovered when I was tidying up yesterday on the front of each um, so some of them are cut round fully some are not let's just try a few he's not cut round yet I do want to take much cutting round um, probably all want to be that way don't they can you see sorry not to do again I think they're just about in view there aren't they I quite like him actually with the blue do we want him off center or um, tilt through the camera down on the ground I think they're not flying are they he looks like he needs something under his feet um, oh, something quite oh he's nice quite uh, oh striking what about the black one yes so he's going to need a bit of just cutting round so let's put these back where we got them from so they don't get lost again so I put them into one of these yesterday and they're with all the other ephemera pieces um, and they're just going to need inking round and sticking on and then we'll call those finished now probably when I use them I will add something else to them a ticket or a label or something like that but I don't want to do it now because I, it might be you know a colour coordinated or a theme coordinated ticket or label and um, hopefully what I'm going to do is make up a journal out of a lot of the junk pages I think I did one with you previously on a Sunday in another video not now so I'm going to make up a junk journal if not two maybe off camera so that they're ready to fill and then use a load of these pieces that we've been doing together to fill the journals um, if you haven't seen the video for the 100 subscriber giveaway pop over and have a look at it because um, there will be some ephemera pieces up for grabs there I won't say any more than that I'll leave it to the video okay I've got quite a dark ink on this dobber now so it was um, vintage photo but I have been dipping it in the new uh, walnut walnut stain yeah so it's got a bit of a dark dark edge to it there that's fine okay just get them stuck on and then yeah obviously it's going to need the edges cut in and um, like I say labels or something but that's a job for when they finally go in whichever journal they end up in so I'll put him a bit higher up because I think he's going to need a label or something to be sat on so that's three of these used up as well I have to say I am getting quite um, over full now in my little house of all the bits and pieces I've got waiting to have things done to them so I really need to be creating stuff and getting it out the door I guess so that I can breathe a little bit because there's always something new coming along or somebody's always doing something new that I want to have a go at and if we get stuck with the stuff that's you know from previous ideas we never seem to move along and we just collect and collect 
I don't want to do that. I want to use it, share it and move along. Okay, so that's the three birds. We also made the tags. Well, no, we didn't. We're back to the tags. Did we do anything else or just those birds? That was it. Um, I am just, when I turn the camera off, I am just going to stick in there this piece of paper for journaling on and then we'll call that a done piece and that will be going um, in the ephemera pile as well. So we'll have a like a, a journaling card, some tags, all those tags and those three postcards out of the uh, stash and that will leave us to do this little bit. So another postcard, two more postcards, a piece of masterboard, two um, pockets that want collaging on, a pocket that wants collaging on, and five tags. Okay, so that shouldn't take much doing. I think I should probably get that done in another video. Okay, so thank you ever so much for keeping me company, guys. Um, I'll pop a photo on at the end with these cut out and everything so you can see what we actually achieved. Have a lovely day and I'll see you again soon. Remember to enter the giveaway. Bye for now.